Look at this. We got some hats finally. I've been trying to get hats for a while now. Um, just been pushing it off and kind of like finally made some money this summer so I can invest in that. So yeah, if you guys want, love for you guys to support us and pick up some hats. You know, I'm a college student. I really don't have that much money. I don't make that much money. And so, you know, every little bit of money that I make, you know, besides food and whatnot, you know, it goes back into Wildfly, like uh, whether it's camera gear, whether it's apparel and whatnot. So really do appreciate when you guys support us and get our gear. It means a lot. It really does. And like seeing pictures of you guys like wearing our gear is just like surreal. That being said, head over to wild-fly.com slash shop if you want to get one. Thank you for supporting us and let's get to the episode. about 4 45 right now in the morning and today i'm doing something a little bit different i'm gonna get out of boone which i'm stoked about i'm gonna get a fish with my buddy cj and hopefully get into some big wild brown trout we're gonna be throwing big streamers in small creeks for wild browns i'm super stoked it's something i haven't done before really and he's gonna show me how it's done and i'm psyched to get after, to get after it so i think i'm about to hit mac Do really quick and get some breakfast because it's about the only place that's open and then Head out of here. A oh, sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle. One gravy that's gonna want sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle or anything else. Driving down King Street right now, and this is so weird. It's just like, feels like the middle of the night. I literally haven't been up this early in so long, or up this late even. I don't know how well you can see it, but that sun is just beautiful right now. Sinking line ever, so mm -hmm. I like weighted flies. Even when I throw these, have weighted uh, barbells in them, but I still throw. I'll throw a split shot in front of this. Like right, a pretty big one too. A lot of people are like, uh, why you do that? <laughs> it's like, well, I feel like it really it works. <laughs> it, it really doesn't. It took me a, a while to learn that. Like, we're pretty close to stream here. Yeah, we haven't caught anything yet, but we're staying pretty much for the most part behind the fish. Yeah. Kind of walking fairly softly. Ooh. Did you see that? Yeah. He went back. Yeah, he didn't hit it though. A stick or something. Yeah, I got a rock. Yeah, it's one thing in the small canopy you gotta like. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. See that? Yeah, I saw that. See, that's the piston outside. Yeah. So we're flipping today. Really, why I do this um, is we're in a small stream. It's really shallow water. It's gin clear, and I. The thing about flipping, for me at least, is that when you when you toss it, and you actually flip it out there, you can kind of slow it down right before it hits the water. And you have minimal line in the actual water in this gin clear uh, stuff that we're fishing. So it, it really just gets me to hook up more, really. Like if I were to do a bow and arrow cast right here. So you, it's splashy hard, by the way. Yeah, it's splashy hard, and I probably won't land it where I want to because it's so heavy, you know? Yeah, have that 10 foot length. Yeah, I think that's the key, too, because I've tried it with a nine foot and I just yeah that extra foot man yeah well this is almost a foot and a half this is a ten foot six here that's sweet oh did you see that it didn't did it move came, yeah once one came to the surface and hit it oh it's a little one but right still some now the bigger trout usually don't usually don't hold and stuff like this mm -hmm. like that first hole you saw how it kind of yeah it was a lot deeper but that that's all it needs it's like if it's three feet it probably has a 
the potential to hold a good crowd. See, and the reason I don't cast way upstream is because they're real line shy because the water's so clear. Mm -hmm. So if I were to cast up there, all this water is pretty much ruined. You know, because that's yeah. how I used to fish it. Uh, and really just any small stream until I started doing this, just because you have limited line of water, you're yeah. not really, like, you're barely touching the surface. And that that's made a big difference in my ability to kind of catch some of these wild trout and skinny water like that. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of times when they come out from underneath rocks like that, you can see them following. Ooh, little guy. Yeah, I know. That's what it looked like. Like this? Like this? Mm -hmm. Oh, did you see him? Uh -uh. He took off. Did he really? Yeah, from here. Oh. How big was it? Probably 18, 20. I wonder if white would do it. I'm not used, I've not used yellow here. Probably yellow. Sushi roll. That's so clutch. All right, so we've been fishing all morning. CJ just put on a new... Uh, a new streamer. We're fishing a 10 foot 6, 3 weight. It's the Orvis Helios 3. Um, that extra length uh, gives us the ability to reach the other side of the stream and kind of flip it, like he was saying. Um, we've moved a bunch of fish, but have not yet to put one in the bag. So that's what we're working on. Oh, did you see that? Nope. Shoot, man. You didn't like eat it though. Looks like we're uh, going with a little nymph rig for a little bit. Give the streamer a break. Oh, on the lip. What? Came after it on the lip. That's crazy. That was a brown for yeah, sure. That was definitely brown. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> right in the lip too. Need a rally one. I got something. <laughs> Alright, so we didn't really get any video of that fish uh, just because CJ was trying to help me net it and we just didn't have the camera on, blah, blah, blah. Um, but then literally within the next 10 minutes, I missed one. We didn't get on film and then I, I hooked onto another. And this was like one of the last spots of this hole. And so we really weren't filming. We didn't think we were going to catch anything. And I just plopped a cast right in this waterfall. And literally within a second, he hit it. And that's what this next fish is. Meat eater. That was big. Well, I think it was about the size of yours. Yeah. Oh. How long have you been growing the beard out? Uh, I've had it for six years, I think. Mm. If I let it really, like, if I let it really, really grow, it'd be like ZZ Top. Really? Yeah, I kind of, it's on the longer side of where I usually have it right yeah. now. All right, we moved down. We're at spot number two. Uh, this morning we caught three super nice browns. Not quite big fish to CJ's measure, but uh, hoping to get some some more fish down here. It's a little bit wider, and hopefully we can uh, get in some more here. Oh, that was a hit. Ooh. That was definitely a hit. That was quick. It was like almost when I threw it in there. Yeah. Hardest part about filming is like staying focused on that <laughs> when you want to watch someone fish, you know? 
Oh, that was something. Doty snap? Yep. No way. That was a fish for sure, right? Yep. Got me on the strip. I'm going back down. What do you think is like the biggest advantage of having an extra length to that rod? Uh, it's really just when you're flipping is when it helps. Yeah. And, and to me, having the tippet protection, that's a big deal, you know. We're, we're fishing on small streams most of the time. And three weight, a lot of people think that you fight fish for a really long time. It's, it's not really the truth. I, I enjoy it because the tip of protection more than anything. Yeah. I mean, when you can move giant fish on 4X using a streamer, I don't know, it's just, you got to have that protection on those. Especially that rod bent way over almost. Oh, yeah, when the rod's bent so much. But that's, that's crazy. That's why it does it, you know. But this happens too when you try to fish streamers. With <laughs> you all tangled. Well, well, we we fish hard. Yeah, there's nothing to do about it. Nah. <laughs> that kind of sums the day up. Peace out, homies. Nothing you can do. All right, just finished up a super fun day with CJ. Uh, filling up gas right now. But today we mainly just fished streamers. There was a small portion of the day when we threw nymphs. And CJ got one uh, really nice brown, which was awesome. And then I actually got two in like a matter of 10 minutes on, on the streamer, which was really cool. It was a really cool technique. Uh, CJ is an amazing fisherman, uh, just really knows his stuff. And it was really cool him showing a new technique that I've never done uh, and kind of also introducing me a little bit more into the streamer game but overall stand up guy super cool dude um, stoked that we got to do this and we're definitely gonna go fish again super fun I'm heading back to Boone cars all filled up with gas and I'm tired of shit. so I need to get home and go to bed but yeah peace